How's it going y'all? Today we are at Hobby Connection in Easley, South Carolina. The layout's the same, but still be a great time I'm sure. I have the Nitro Truggy and the Electric Truggy with me. I'm going to try to get some track time. Uh, I got the GoPro with me. I'm going to put it on my head, try to run a few laps with each. Just kind of shake them out. They're both brand new, so uh, just wish me luck I guess. <laughs> but I got the Nitro car. I got the heater on the engine, so while it's warming up, I'm going to go ahead and throw the electric one out there because it's ready to go. So. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> all right, y'all. Hope this is going to turn out pretty good. This is all a learning curve for me. So I hope this is a, a nice angle and you'll actually be able to see what the car is doing. Let's see here. All right, let's get up top real quick. All right, <laughs> here we go. The first time the electric truggy out here, let's see. Okay, try not to get too carried away there, Nate. <laughs> it's a little bit loose. Could just be the tires I'm running. It's a little dry too, so. Seems to have plenty of power. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All over the place. Definitely feels a little soft as far as the springs go. I guess that's to be expected. Uh-oh. Way too much power. This thing is a monster. Starting to get the feel for it though. Uh-oh, scratch my wheels. <laughs> Ooh. Still not brave enough to try that triple right now. I think it's a little bit too loose to try for that. Turns amazing though, being loose. Kind of like for the back to slide a little bit, but not too much. Crazy amount of power. This is the thing is ridiculous. Whew, almost lost it there. Ooh. 
What the heck was I doing? Yeah, like I said, it's, uh, needs a little bit of work. I don't know if the stiffing the springs up will actually help it or not. Definitely feels like it's rolling all over the place. Oh! <laughs> Definitely has potential though. I think uh, if I can get a little bit more grip out of it, this thing will be a freaking monster. Love the truggies, man. They're just so forgiving. I mean, you can make a mistake and it just like recovers very, very well. See, like that. If that was a buggy, I would probably be flipping still. <laughs> If I can keep it shiny side up, I'll be happy. Feels pretty solid though, especially right out of the box. I mean, I just built this car, so it feels pretty good. I'm gonna stop right there, get the battery, you know, top off and check, make sure you're actually getting a good look at this thing. But so far, so good. This thing is a freaking monster, man. Probably should have went a little bit more conservative on the motor. <laughs> Cause you can't, I can't get anywhere near full throttle. Freaking beast. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta watch it or Truggy's gonna become my, like my favorite class. Try a few little whips real quick. See if we can lay it out like Ronnie Renner. On that one did a bad job balancing my tires I think that wasn't too bad uh oh
All right, guys, that's it for the electric car. We're gonna throw the nitro out there, run a few laps, probably have to do a little tuning on it, and then uh, that'll probably be a wrap, but let's get to it. There's like a big wash right there. Just dropped the tire and it spun the car around. That was all my fault. <laughs> So was that. <laughs> oh, there it went again. <laughs> That's like my favorite part of the track right there.
all over the place. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Let's try that again. Mulligan. <laughs> I think I might be just a little bit lean. <laughs> Good, that was pretty. <laughs> Sometimes a mistake is a good mistake, guys. We get to take the walk of shame. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Guess that'd be enough of my bad, ah, uh, jeez. Guess that'd be enough of my bad driving, so we'll just practice our whip. Cause whips are cool. That was not very good. Come on, come on. 
Give me one good one. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, man, coming from motocross, I love whips. I'm sorry. I'm a big kid. I know it. I don't know what that was. Oh, I think we might be running out of gas. Guess we'll call it a quit. Yeah, looking pretty low. Yep. <laughs> I called that one pretty good, I guess. All right, y'all. That's pretty much it. Um, like I said, daylight's going away. Um, that's like my one thing with nitro I struggle with. You know, I really don't want to take the time to like tune it and figure out what's wrong, which is what you have to do. You know, I just I just want to throw it out there and run, and then I you know, run down and do like one little tweak, and then try to go back up <laughs> and run. Just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. But both cars held up very, very well. Um, like I said, I didn't even have really time to like tweak them or tune them or anything. I just ran them as they were built, um, which they're built just the way Kyosho recommends. They both have different tires on them. The electric car is running a little bit bigger pin tire, like um, the City Blocks, I think, from AKA. And the, uh, I'm not sure what these are, Impacts. So um, the Nitro definitely felt a little bit better, but like I said, it has a smaller pin tire. It's really dusty and dry out, so maybe that might be what it is. I'm not sure, but um, imagine once I get the time with the electric and actually set the suspension up for the extra weight and stuff it probably like a way better car but i'm not a very good uh you know hot setup guy at either <laughs> i like i said i just enjoy rc cars i just want to run that's that's it um if it's like a brick with four wheels i'll run it i don't care <laughs> any time on the track is good time to me so but yeah we'll mess around with them a little bit more and um like i said i'm excited to start racing this year uh, i think it's gonna be you know a lot of fun and uh but yeah i guess that's pretty much it i'll quit wasting y'all's time like i said i appreciate you for watching and supporting the channel and i uh, hope you'll consider subscribing and sticking around because there's gonna be like a lot of rc car action in the future i'm even thinking about building a track at my house and if i can do that that would be awesome because we'd be getting a lot of seat time and you know seat time is where it's at seat time means you get better and that's what i want to do but all right guys that's enough of me rambling like i said uh We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you for watching and all that good stuff. I'm out.